Unfortunately, I don't have any cavalry to take out the uh, artillery. Prepare. I think it's going to be much the same strategy, just on a much, much smaller scale. And that leaves our specialists kind of to deal with these guys. Uh, need to try and work out a way of ambushing them if we can. Although just letting the towers shoot them up I think would be really valuable. Let's block that path off. Hell, I could actually just block off both paths. Go ahead and do that. Uh, one more. That one. And let's just leave you guys in the center, I guess. Begin! Take heed, warriors! They're pulling back. They're also pulling back. Oh, no, because they're shooting us with the towers. Trying to, anyway. Release. See? You I could control. You, I can't. It's not highlighting properly, that's why. See here, it's selecting both. Well, okay. So it seems... Wait, where are you going? Right, back off. It seems to be if I click on one of my own units and then reselect the tower, then I can sometimes actually command it. Alright, so it looks like they're doing a much bigger attack over here. Maybe the fact that I did these barriers made them not want to attack there, because there's no real reason for them to do so. Make ready. To attention. Get moving. Move out. Well, they're letting me get a lot of very nice shots off, which is generous, to say the least. The trebs are almost out of ammo. Oh, here they come. Ready. Archers, prepare. To attention. Who are you? Why, what? Unfortunately, crossbows have a longer range. Stand ready. Take heed, warriors. 
But what I can do is I can very sneakily move backwards so that they're out of range and then turn around and go back forwards. Oh no, they've come into range, never mind. Ones, shoot at them. Twos. Twos could actually start coming forwards. It's like there. Oh, they've actually destroyed the front tower, but that's all of their artillery done. Steal yourselves. Let Our warriors fly. run, craven dogs. Those Chen peacekeepers have incredible resistance to arrows, so don't shoot at them. Running, the spineless cowards. Fight! Bowmen, stand ready. Get moving. Fire upon them. Hmm. They're smashing their way through with alarming alacrity. However, Liu Chong is a little bit isolated now, so hopefully we can just grind them down with my special forces. Units. Unfortunately, they're likely to take these towers relatively easily. We are losing ground. Yu Chong's taking damage. Our warriors run, craven dogs. But how much? Oh, he went crazy. Oh, we killed the uh, strategist, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the case. Good. A unit has been completely destroyed. Well, at least he's actually getting completely destroyed this time, as opposed to surrendering for some reason. We did damage. Not as much as I kind of hoped that we would. And we didn't win, which means I just lost the investment on this town. Upgrading it to a small city. Irritating. Yeah, we did kill her. Good. We did not kill any of their specials, although actually the Chen Peacekeepers are pretty badly injured. Liu Bei is running around up here for some reason. Just so many of them. It's a never ending stream. My passion burns brighter. New beginning. The promise of new, more prosperous life will attract the poor and the hungry from across the empire. That's not really so true anymore. Ah, but Zhang is leveled up. So Zhang's last ability is a plus 50% ranged block chance. Which is alright. 
plus 5 resolve, plus 3 cunning, plus 10 ranged armor pierce, plus 10 ranged damage, plus 3 industry. Plus 25% movement range when moving, uh, when commanding, which he is. Enables Retique resist resistance for his own unit. That's pretty good. Encourage and income from commerce. Plus 5 replenishment, plus 25% redeployment cost. No, I think we're going to go for the plus 25% campaign movement. That is essential in this campaign. Anyway, I'm going to be back in just a moment, so I'm going to take a quick two-minute break. If you two need to take a break as well, then I would recommend you take two minutes to do so. Two minutes, everyone, two minutes. I'm going to run a advert while I'm away, just because I'm not here, so I might as well. Two minutes, everyone. The population is stable. Yes, the two minutes are indeed up. And I'm back. Marvellous. Right, so what was going on? First of all, we need to choose a new technology. Income from peasantry. Well, considering we keep losing our towns, that's probably not the best option. I think that we may well want to get better units. Mounted sabers. Ugh. No, don't start researching that. Archer Defectors. Archer Defectors could well be good. Gallant to the People would also be good. That would allow me to bolster the front line, although the front line hasn't been terrible. Those are the Tyrant Slayers. G Defectors. G Defectors are just really good all round units. Especially because enemy archers don't tend to have 
the opportunity to actually do much damage to us. Because my own archers are really effective right now. Uh, what else could we get? We could get oil, tower, wooden stakes. Which would then lead to the upgraded garrison, although we haven't actually gotten any garrisons further than level 2. So I don't think that's going to be very useful. Building upkeep, we're not really doing any upkeep stuff. Um, I think the upgraded archers are going to make the most sense. So let's do that. All right. Let desire shape and guide passion. Resume standard stance. We are able to make it. Not possible. To the large town. And yeah, we did lose the money from that bugger. For China. A misunderstanding. And this guy never left. Impossible. I mean, we could attack it. But with the garrison there, I'm not convinced that we would win. Oh, Liu Bei is on the move again. I refuse. Impossible. Order will spread throughout. I think I'm going to leave you here to defend ye, the uh, farmland, go. and we're going to send you over here to go and retake my city. Show them heat. And I think I might even just delegate this. Celebrate! Our victory was just. That works. Three hundred losses. We captured one of their specials. Feared, careless, incompetent, and now also maimed. And there, uh, she has a Jade Monkey. I think just killing her would be really effective, seeing as she's a level 4 already. She is one of the better generals that they have. Incompetent, careless. Oh dear, bad combination. She's dead. They deserve nothing less. Listen to the land. Right, now I'm going to upgrade this again. I'm wasting another chunk of money, but... Uh, it's fine. And we gained the Jade Monkey, which is the plus cunning... Which I'm going to give to you. I mean, I know that that was really good for the faction leader. But cunning means I can shoot more. <laughs> and especially as this is the army with the catapult, that is kind of important. Caution douses the heart's desire. I'm not upgrading Henai. And we resecured the commandery. We do have two assignments available. Um, which I think is basically just going to be these two again. So you can go ahead and employ the volunteers. And then you can go ahead and do the food production. And we could also start selling some of our excess food. Because we do have a lot, and I think we're pretty much always going to have a lot. So do any of you need food? No, not really. Gongdu is the one who Welcome. needs it the most. Oops. One hundred and seventy-three a turn. That's effectively one thousand seven hundred. That's going to be for all of my excess food, but we are about to get another four. Do it. May your fortunes multiply. And the benefit with that is it balances out some of our negatives. I really hope that we're going to go and take out 
the LG. Also, where are you? You're currently in Yanmen, which makes sense. I mean, that is another dangerous border. Although, uh, Zhang Yan has appeared. The bandit. And he's not at war with us yet. So, is Zhang Yan part of the same family? He is a Zhang. So are we. It's possible. Ah, we've got rid of the low satisfaction as well. That's good. Okay then. Now nah, just a bandit. Fair enough. That's a lot of bad guys down there. Do you have an ancillary? You don't. And you could definitely do with one. Authority is unit morale. I think you probably want the resolve. And... That. Because I think you were going to get that one. Yeah. Okay, good. You are still replenishing, although you are actually almost back up to full strength. Peace through conquest. Three more turns until the city has upgraded. I cannot. Not possible. Kong Rong's got his resilience back. No, not today. Yuan Shu is on his way as no. well. No. I think I'm basically just going to stand here and defend like crazy. Okay, so they're going off to Henai. You're coming off to my city. <clears throat> Expecting a close defeat. They have one set of artillery. They outnumber us by 300, but... Oh, nice farmland. We don't have any towers. Unfortunately, you are very, very close to becoming legendary, but you are not quite there yet. And the garrison is not yet upgraded, or not yet established. So who do they have that's dangerous? Doesn't look like you have any units which are unique. So, none, actually. For once, the quality of the troops is on my side. And her Yi can kill their leader, although he can only go after Tao Shang. We'll just need to hunt down and kill the other two. Kill their generals, win the fight. Begin. Our ideals are one. Harmonious. We can achieve much. Some trees flourish, others must die. Hold your heads high and fight for liberty! It's quite funny imagining her you du dueling a frail old man. Well, the thing is, the two frail old men on that side, well, the frail old man and his buddy, are uh, strategists, so they won't duel. All right. How do we want to deal with this? I think we want to hide the cavalry in one of the woods. Unfortunately, they're not vanguards. So I think we want to hide the cavalry over here. Stand ready. The time has come. So that we can try and take out their artillery. In fact, I think... 
this side would be a better choice. Let's do that and then go charging into there. We'll be a little bit closer and also their artillery is on this side. This is further away. Alright, the other thing is we just need to deploy far back. Attend. Swordsman, ready! Make ready! At the ready! Steal yourselves! So the archers can absolutely deploy right there. And the swordsmen deploy in front of them. Unfortunately, that's a fairly thin screen. But we do have two units in reserve that we can send in if we need to. I'm going to put you like on the flanks. One of you is hidden. And the other one? This isn't actually a forest, it's just a massive boulder. The artillery is creeping close. Okay, we're hidden. Stay there. Okay, good. Why are you still coming this way? Oh, because it's the last unit they saw. Uh, okay. That's particularly annoying. Didn't see that Tao Chan was a strategist. Yeah, he's one of three. Two new ones, plus Kong Rong. Tao Chan, Lu Ji, Kong Rong. And have they just spotted us? They have just spotted us again. And they're all turning around this way. Back we go. Crisis averted for the time being. Until they spot the cavalry, of course. In which case I'll need to start herring away. How fast are you? 65. So am I. Thankfully, their artillery doesn't have the same range as trebuchets do. Otherwise, that would really be bad. Because they would already have been shooting at the uh, cavalry before they had a chance to hide. You're enjoying this. I do it all for I'm the cause, friend. Control. Okay, so you stay here. Boom. I'm just sending her Yi out to go and take this guy down as quickly as we can. Thankfully, the cavalry did stay hidden, which is good. The time has come. Stand ready. Similar strength. I disagree. <laughs> Seeing as I do 900 damage to their 300. You will fall. But we've seen that the game is terrible at classifying just how much damage her you does. We won the charge. 